Good day. The State Television Company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Broadcast for today. The 28th session of Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. In August, ICRC representatives visited Armenians held in prison in Azerbaijan. Head of Artsakh Diocese will meet with people forcibly displaced from Artsakh. The rabbits of Akhtamar Island pose a threat to the area and the church. Baku has started the process of appropriation of the monument within our mountains. Sons of Western Armenia, Dr. Jack Geverkan. An evening dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Aznavoret, the Swiss Poplin classic. On 26 August, the 28th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, welcomed the attendees. Ms. Lydia Margosyan and President Armina Kabrahamian discussed issues related to the organizational works of the Summer University and Scientific Conference dedicated to Goddess Anahit, which be held on 8 September. Ms. Nelly Hayatunyan, Chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Army, also attended the meeting and presented in detail the process of organizational works. Ms. Nayutunyan noted that at the moment the works on the preparation of invitation, tickets and letters as well as the other solution of other important issues are in progress. At the end of the session, Mr. Armina Gabrahamian presented the agenda of the conference, which will be discussed in detail. In August, the employees of the Interracial Committee of the Red Cross visited Armenians held in prison in Azerbaijan. They were given the opportunity to contact their family members. Zara Amatunim, who is responsible for the communication programs of the Armenian Red Cross Office, informed this to Azadutun. In the framework of the meeting, the conditions of protection, the state of health, the attitude towards them were evaluated, said Amatuni. During the September 19 military attack on Artsakh, by Azerbaijan, 16 people were captured. Eight officials from Artsakh are also among those arrested. Former presidents Arkady Rugasyan, Bako Sahakyan, Aray Karatunyan, Speaker of the National Assembly, David Ishkanyan, former Minister of State, Ruben Vartanyan, former Commander of the Defense Army, Levon Manatsakanyan, former Deputy Commander of the Armed Forces, David Manukyan, and former Foreign Minister, David Babayan. Baku made heavy accusations against them. The Diocese of Artsakh has initiated a series of meetings during which the former clergymen of the Diocese of Artsakh, intellectuals, culture, and other figures will hold meetings with the Armenians of Artsakh. The purpose of the meeting is to strengthen and unite spiritually our compatriots. The first meeting will be held with the leader of Artsakh Diocese, Bishop Devartanes Abrahamian, on 30 August. The member of Council of Artsakh Diocese will also be present at the meeting. The meeting will be held in Yerevan, Bagramia 59. The rapidly increasing number of rabbits of Akhtamal Island in Lake Thwana is causing damage to the island and the surroundings of the church. Experts warn about the need to take out the rabbits. On Akhtamal Island of Lake Thwana, the rabbit left to attract the attention of tourists increased in number rapidly in previous years. Experts warn that these animals are digging holes around the island and the church on it damaging and drying to the roots of trees. Island Akhtamar is one of the most important historical places in Western Armenia. In previous years, rabbits were brought there in order to increase tourist interest on the island. However, these animals are now causing serious damage to the island by digging holes and damaging tree roots and vegetation. The website Man and Watch, organization which monitors our South cultural heritage, report that the Azerbaijani website Culture of Azerbaijan recently published a statement about Artsakh, We and Our Mountains Monument, saying that it was built in Khankend in 1967 and is a multicultural site of Azerbaijan and as an example of religious tolerance. It is well known that the monument is one of the modern symbols of Armenians of Artsakh and was created as a sign and symbol of the Armenian identity of the region. The sculpture of the monument is Sarkis Bagdasajan and the architect is Yuri Hakopian. The monument is made of red tuff, specially brought from Armenia. The monument does not have a 
pedestal, but it seems that the monument hill has been split and they rose from the split and stood with their feet firmly planted in the soil of the Armenians. The monument, which was the brightest and most famous symbol of Artsakh Armenians, was not touched and unnoticed by Azerbaijan journalists and media representatives visiting occupied the Stepanakert. Recently, in Stepanakert, an Azerbaijani Kamran Razmavar said that the monument was built with the funds allocated from the budget of Azerbaijan. Therefore, it is Azerbaijani. These approaches show that Azerbaijan is trying to appropriate Armenian culture or heritage. We consider it necessary to note that the idea of the monument that was carried out in those years with the direct participation of the chairman of the executive committee of the regional council of Nagorno-Karabakh, Musharan Ohanjanyan. The leadership of Soviet Azerbaijan was against the construction of the monument and its installation. Moreover, a complaint was filed and demanded that it be dismantled. A special commission from the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Azerbaijan arrived in Stepanakert to find out which we and which monuments are we talking about in the monument. We and our mountains. Due to the efforts of the Armenian side, it was only possible to save the monument from being dismantled. This policy contradicts the UN's Paris Convention in 2005 on the protection and promotion of the diversity of cultural expressions, which obliques to respect the cultural heritage of all nations. Jack Gevorkian is an American Armenian doctor known as the originator of the phenomenon of Indonesia, the USA, and a rather intensive practitioner of it. He was born in 1928 as Murat Hakob Gevorkian in Pontiac, Michigan, USA, in a family of Armenian immigrants. Being a descendant of parents who immigrated from the Ottoman Empire, his mother was a survivor of the genocide against Armenians. He was an exemplary student and scholar. Entering university early and moving from engineering to medicine, Gevorkian began working as a doctor, but left conventional practice to explore and apply his unconventional ideas. Obsessed with the idea of death from his early years as a doctor, he became interested in euthanized itself much later. He assisted in over 100 suicides, during which he helped patients by giving them an infusion of a drug he created specially for that purpose. When one of the suicides was shown on national television with his permission, law enforcement authorities filed the murder case against him, found him guilty and sentenced him to prison. One of the conditions of his release was that he was no longer allowed to assist in committing suicides. Jack Gevorkian, however, continued to be a staunch defender of euthanasia. Dr. Gevorkian's personality has always been uh, shrouded in a veil of controversy as a result of which media storms often rose around his statements and sometimes bold steps. Despite the serious contradictions surrounding his personality throughout his life, his steps were truly the work of a pioneer standing at the forefront of a newly emerging issues. His mark on the struggle for the legalization of euthanasia is indelible and is best described by the historical of medicine, Howard Markel, according to whom Gavrikan is one of the greatest and historical personalities of modern medicine. On 1 September 2024, the Peplin Classic Festival in Geneva will celebrate its 15th anniversary. It will end with the Grand Gala Concert at Victoria Hall. This exclusive event will bring together world-renowned musicians, artists and prestigious orchestras. Reflecting the musical diversity and excellence for which the festival is known, the State Chamber Orchestra of Armenia and the French Youth Orchestra of Switzerland will perform under the direction of conductor Luc Bagdasarian. The collaboration promises subtle interpretations of various iconic works, offering a beautiful and sensual musical experience for the discerning listener. The year 2024 is special as the entire French-speaking world celebrates the 100th anniversary of the birth of the great Charles Navour. Palplin Classic 15th anniversary celebration epitomizes the festival's commitment to promoting classical music in all its diversity and richness. The first Armenian evening within the framework of this festival took place in 2014 when the State Chamber Orchestra of Armenia performed under the direction of artistic director and principal conductor Vahan Martirosyan. As Ani Gasparyan, coordinator of the festival's Armenian concert series, who initiated this cooperation, noted in a conversation with Oret. From 2014 through 2017, the State Chamber Orchestra of Armenia continued to perform with a variety of world-renowned Armenian and Swiss soloists, including the talented violinist Diana Adamian. This was all for today. Goodbye.